it's Chris from Full Throttle with Fair Shop. You know everyone talks about ethanol fuel and how it's such a big problem with all these little small engines, dirt bikes, four wheelers, lawn mowers. But what it does is it gels up. I took the carburetor off this. This is a perfect example of what ethanol fuel does when it sits for a long period of time. This is just the worst one I've ever seen before. So I have the carburetor part over here on the bench. I'll take you over and I'll just take a look at it. Well guys, I just cracked this carburetor open off this little tiny four-wheeler and this is what was inside. That is like the grossest thing I've seen in the carburetor so far. People say ethanol fuel has an effect on these fuel systems. Well, here's the proof right here. It's god awful. It's like horrible jelly. And I don't think this was sitting all that long. I bought it off a guy, and he said it sat about a year, so this is what your fuel system can look like within a year, I guess. I'm just gonna break this down and get her in the cleaner. Here's a perfect example of someone not using fuel stabilizer in a system, and this is what happens. I've seen them gunked up pretty bad, but this is the most jelly I've seen come out of one so far, which is pretty cool. So the rumors are true. <laughs> I'm just going to take all these little plugs out of here, and I'll stick them in the cleaner, and uh, hopefully it comes out like new again. Okay, so I got this car back out of the cleaner. And it looks pretty good. Everything's really clean. Except for the very inside of the bowl. If you can see in there, see all that pitting? That's from the actual fuel rotting away the metal. It's actually pitted in there. You can't get that any cleaner than that. I mean, you can hear the wire brush a little bit, but it'll always be pitted. You can even see on the top of this one here, all that pitting in there. That's from the fuel eating away the aluminum. But overall, it's clean, it's usable. Now, you don't have to use an ultrasonic cleaner, you can use carb cleaner. Something like this here. Basically, you just spray out all the jets, get everything nice and clean. You can also take a piece of a wire brush, clean all these small holes, all the jets out. I like to use a torch cleaner. They're cheap, you can get them anywhere. Clean all the jets out with it. Get everything looking pretty good. The only thing you have to worry about with the carb cleaner is the gaskets. Basically, if you touch these gaskets here with any carb cleaner, they're going to swallow right up. They're going to get ruined. So if you're going to use carb cleaner, make sure you move any rubber, any gaskets that can get ruined on there. Because this is from a little, little Chinese four-wheeler. And the parts are pretty hard to find. Other than that, it's good to go. And one thing you can do to make this from stop happening is to use fuel stabilizer. This stabilizer here is more of an all around use. You'd put this in your fuel all the time, run it all the time. It kind of eliminates the problem from ethanol. If you're going to store it, typically I use something like this. Fuel stable storage. This seems to work the best. So you can run this kind of in there all the time. And if you're going to store it over the winter time, slap some of this in there. Just make sure you read it because this stuff does treat quite a bit, so you don't need that much in there. This whole bottle will treat 128 gallons. This one treats 25, so this one you put a little more in there. Maybe like a shot glass in a lawnmower or in a snowblower or one of these little four-wheelers will do the job for you. If you use this kind of stuff, you'll stay in good shape. It kind of eliminates this kind of problem from happening. But I'll reassemble this. I'll stick it back in the wheeler, and I'll see if I can get it running.